Hey everybody, this is Strange Society, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K. We are uh, in the secret hideout, and we are getting ready to head out and find some cat statues. And I believe we have to talk to Pan before we do that, so let's do that. So, K, welcome to the avalanche. Thanks. Can you give me the password for the other sections of the city? This will open many doors. Just say, Tak and Shun, you so dumb, soon you creeps will kiss my bum. That's the password? Okay, okay, how about a panda named Venus Nantucket? Wait a minute! Yeah, you're right. A little more elegance. Spy stuff. How about the panda flies at midnight? Pandas can't fly! You ought to see my Uncle Pooh Bear after a jug of nettle mead. Wanna know why we call him Pooh Bear? That's just wrong. Ugh, not really. Come on, Pan, I'll never remember any of this stuff. Ah, the heck with it. I'll just give you a key so you can open the doors yourself. If you have any question, ask our hidden watchman in the barrel in front of our hideout. He always knows some good hints. Ask him. It's worth the effort. Thanks. That'll work. Okay, so. so now we got a key, and uh, we passed a door that required a key to open the lock. So, uh, I'm thinking that's where we need to go. But uh, anyway, before I do that, I'm actually going to go... Let's see, because I used a Berserk Potion... And at this point, I'm just going to ignore these rats because, I mean, they just respawn. You don't get any more experience or money or anything from them. So I'm just going to leave them alone and run over here. going to go to the shop real quick. And uh, I'm actually going to buy uh, an armor and a health potion. If you want something to, think to buy, you can find it here. Oh, I'll make you a special price. Okay, so let's buy a... Uh, health potion for 640 that's expensive okay so now I can restore my health and let's uh, let's get an armor red armor for 720 once again okay so let's do that doing pretty good there okay now let's go ahead and leave the shop all right not too shabby okay so now not too shabby for a tabby okay uh, okay, uh, anyway, sorry I couldn't help myself. It just came to me and I had to do it. Um, okay, so let's go back because uh, we have a key now and there was a door back here that required a key. And uh, there's somebody in front of the door. Let's talk to them. Nearby is a secret passage to one of the cat statues, but it is behind this sealed door. The rats closed it up. If you have a key, you might be able to open it. And it just so happens that we do. Okay. Anyway, how do you like the writing on this? Okay, how many references have we had so far? I mean, we've had the Avalanche. We've had Pooh Bear who drank Nettle Mead. And, uh... Like, uh, okay. I, I, the Avalanche, I could understand, maybe. Like, it's kind of an off... Unless you've played the game, you wouldn't know it. But seriously, Pooh Bear? Pooh Bear. You had to go there, and then you had to make the reference to... Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm done. I'm not even going there. Forget that. Let's just move on. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not, not, just not. Let's just not. Okay? Let's not. Okay, anyway. Cat statue, back here, doing good. Okay, still got the bombs in case I run across a wall. I think there are explodable walls. I'm just not seeing any. They are... A little obvious, they will have cracks. It's not like a wall that you can't see. Okay. But anyway, so here's Cat Statue. Let's activate it. That is one of three that we need. So that'll raise the water a little bit. It's a good thing that we went and uh, got those chests down there already. Because as soon as we lift this up, then we obviously won't be able to get them anymore. But uh, okay, so there is one Cat Statue. And let's see here. Don't, uh, I want to say there was something else back here. I'm trying to remember. I thought there was something else back here that we needed to do. Let's see. Not seeing. 
I need to see. Okay, but either way... Um, okay. Alright, that's it. So that's all we got, so I think we need to return to Pan now. I think that's what we gotta do. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm looking, and I'm thinking. I'm thinking, and I'm looking. Hold on. Just... Cause, okay, cause I need to zoom in on that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, so let's go back and talk to Pan. Okay, I'm not fighting you guys. I don't need to fight you. You're useless. Just respawn and uh, not dealing with you guys, okay? Just not doing it. Okay, not wasting my fans' time with that nonsense. Okay, anyways, we got that. Let's talk to you again. Hey, you did a good first job for the avalanche. Better you go now to our leader. Think she has another job for you to do. Okay, so that was one cat statue, so now we return to Su Ling and see what she has to say. So let's go do that. Show off our shiny red armor. Yeah. Great. The water is already coming back into the dry dock channel. Now you have to find the next cat statue. As far as we know, it's hidden in a cellar. Go to Pan. He'll give you a big hammer. With it, you can smash brittle floors. When you've activated the cat statue, come back to me. Yeah, I'll do it. How much more water do you think we need? I don't know. When you've activated the cat statue, you'd better come back to me. Oh, I'll come back to you, all right. You can count on that. Kay the Charmer. Who, me? Nah. Now leave. We've no time to lose. <laughs> I love the flirting because it's like there's no, there's no shyness whatsoever. Which is very uncommon in a video game, because usually the main character's kind of shy about it, but <laughs> they got none of that going on here. You know, I could never figure out what this hammer was for. Maybe you can use it for something. A hammer? Okay, so we got our third weapon, finally. Okay. Which is interesting, because we got it after we got all three upgrades, or all... The, the last upgrade for the sword. We're not getting any more upgrades for the sword. There are no more. And we've got um, only one upgrade left for the claw, and we finally, now, after all this time, get the hammer. That is crazy. But anyway, so if you remember right, there was a, um, a floor down here that was very brittle and falling apart. And uh, now that we have the hammer, we can actually do something with that. Okay, so I got the sword. Hold on. Okay, so here's the hammer. Swing, swing. Very slow, but very powerful. Um, I never use it. I typically like the faster weapons. Um, okay, so we can jump and do that. And he falls down, but then he, like, somehow catches the ladder and does that whole uh, crawling down the ladder thing. But anyway, I'm going back. Okay, so there we go. Back to the sword. Just the old sword. Uh, get us through anything sword. Okay, Except a brittle wall. The sword will not do that. Anyway, so we're moving on to this next section. And uh, let's see, what are we doing this time? Okay, we're doing all right. We're, I think, closing in on 12 minutes or so. So anyway, so we got this. And uh, we got somebody standing over there looking around for secrets. Not seeing anything. Much pots. That's good. Okay, so we got this. Anything back here. I heard an explosion. I heard something. Uh, more pots. Okay, hold on. Gotta get the pots. Gotta get the pots. Gotta get the pots. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's talk to this person. First, these foul rats and gorillas. They won't even let me go to my house. They say the passage is closed, all the way up to the king's palace. Now, how should I get home? Be careful. They won't let you pass either. Hopefully, the avalanche will tear them up good. Uh, it just so happens a member of the avalanche is right here, and oh my gosh, barrels! Okay, so what we need to do is we actually need to get past these rolling barrels. Uh, it's actually not all that hard until you get right there because you don't know when they're coming down, but as soon as you get past there, I mean, really, come on, it wasn't that hard at all. And uh, now that we got over here, hey, hey, hey ladder! And uh, so we can take these guys out that we're throwing the barrels, so... And, uh, let's, oh, I was going to try and use some magic, but, uh, no, they said no to that. Oh, and there were exploding barrels right there. Okay. Okay. Going to try some magic. 
Oh, you jerks. Why do you have such good range? Seriously. Okay. Ah. All right. Here we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now. Okay. Back off. Okay. Got you. Okay. Getting you guys. Ow. This is the hard thing about fighting the gorillas because they have such range. I know I said I was going to cut the fights out, but really this is four gorillas and they do not respawn. So I'm actually leaving this fight in because it's not going to take me that long because it's just these guys, okay? That's it. Okay, so after fighting them, we get another chest and a bunch of money up here. Okay, so we got that. Um, actually, what I'm going to do before I go down to get that chest is I'm going to jump off on this side and see what's over here because we got some pots with some more money. Money, money, man. K is going to be rich by the end of this, I'm telling you. Okay. I uh, don't see anything in there. There's nothing else up here. So, okay, so let's go back down and find out what was in that chest. Why don't we? Yeah, okay. So, chest? Probably a... What is this? Hey, we got a red armor! Fill this back up. Cool, because I did take a few hits there. Okay, so we got a save. We have a door that requires a key. So we'll have to come back to that. We get some bamboo. Bamboo always equals secret or something. Okay, something special. Hey, we got a cage. Let's rescue this guy or gal, whatever. I thought nobody would ever find and free me. This is a very hidden place because the rats blocked this place long time ago to secure the passageway to the king's palace. Okay, so it was a guy, but anyway. Okay, so that's uh, another friend rescued, so we got that out of the way. And uh, we got this temple in here, and hey, there's another cat statue. Something to keep in mind, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure that's going to come into play. I don't know. I don't I don't know what's telling me that, but uh, anyway. Okay, so we come back this way, behind this building, and there's some rats. Right in my face. Okay, here, let's try this. You go down, you go down. And, uh, okay. And then, uh, no, no, not going to let you either. Okay. Took those guys out pretty quick. Um, one of these fights, I'm going to show off the hammer. Once again, I didn't cut that fight out because it was three guys. Uh, and that was it. Okay, so we have a weak floor here. So let's go back to the hammer. Uh, let's jump. Slam down. Okay, and that one we actually fall. Um, I'll show off the hammer when I get some upgrades. Because right now it's just not worth it. Actually, you know what? There is an enemy... There is an enemy where I really need the hammer for, so you'll see me use the hammer for that. So I'm sorry if I if if you want to see me uh, show it off, but I'm not using it right now. I will use it later because there is a specific enemy that the hammer is very useful against. So I will show off more hammer skills during that. Okay, but right now I just want to keep to the sword. So, uh, anyway, okay, so we can just, no, we can't destroy that pot, but we have another cat statue. So that was pretty easy. We're breezing through these. I think there's only one more after this. Okay, so we did that, and actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut it out until I get back to the hideout because there's nothing else happens between here and there. So I'm just going to go back at the hideout, and I will see you guys uh, over there. So uh, anyway, see you guys in a second. Okay, here we are back at the hideout. Uh, so let's go talk to Su Ling and see what she has to say. Great. We almost got it. Now, as far as we know, the third cat statue is in the city across the channel. But the drawbridge is closed. Right. Unfortunately, we currently don't know how to reach the other side. But what we have learned, if we want to reach Walo in one piece, we need a special nautical chart to navigate across the shallow water in front of the volcano. We think the map is hidden in the ancient dungeons of the King's Palace. Ancient dungeons? They are hidden under the King's Palace, and they are huge. This is the place where our kings are buried. I see. How can I find these ancient dungeons? Go to Pan. He'll give you a key and some information to find the entrance to the King's Palace. In the meantime, we will find out how to lower the bridge. Great! 
See you soon. Okay, so we have to go to the King's Palace. And, uh, hold on a sec, let me just talk to you a bit. Here's the key to the section of the city leading to the King's Palace. The gate is near the big tower. Be on guard. Thanks, and don't worry. I'll give them what they deserve. Okay, so, um, back in the area where we just were was a door that required a key. It was a locked door. I'm going to end this episode right here. Uh, when I come back in the next episode, I'll be in front of that gate because you pretty much just saw me get through there, and it's going right back to where I was. It's right past those uh, rolling barrels where I fought the four gorillas, so... Anyway, that's it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode, and we will be at that door when we begin, so... See you then. Take care.